I cannot be the only person who wants to live every day as a mushroom or a fairy or fey folk. <laughs> and I couldn't find the outfit that I wanted, so I just had to design my own. This base is called Warbla. It's a thermoplastic. You can heat shape it over a mannequin and cut it out into whatever design that you want. That's the shape that I chose. The next thing I'm using is foam clay. I'm just using my hands to sculpt it over the initial breast and chest plate. Aggressively, I might add. Pro tip, you can use water to help smooth out your base. Trust me when I tell you it doesn't need to be perfect. It's a tree. We're not going for perfect. And at this point, you can carve out all of the little lines and designs, the tree knots that you want to do for yourself. I just freehanded mine like a lunatic. You can do that if you choose. And then I'm using the back of my scalpel for finer details. And that's the base she's done now. Moving on, we are making the stems and the heads of the mushroom caps out of more, you guessed it, foam clay. Mine looks like a little hat. After the stems dried, I'm just running over them with uh, glue lines to give them more detail. And after they're all put together, you can start painting them any color you like. I went with red, bright fire engine red, <laughs> and then also just a yellow-orange ombre. I just liked the color combination. I'm a child. Once all the base coloring is done, you can start adding spots, which is my favorite part. And I did a little bit of everything. I did speckle designs, whatever your heart's content, right? Just priming my corset with a combination of glue and flex bond to give it a good base before painting. This took about three layers of brown paint before I could start building up um, lighter colors onto it. Afterwards, I just started using some dry brushing techniques to kind of lighten it and help bring out that grainy finish that would have and darkening in the details. Now the fun part, we can glue all of our mushrooms onto the corset wherever we want to. And this part was really fun. It kind of looked a little crazy at first, I'm not going to lie. But then we added the moss and, you know, things were starting to come together. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So I just got knitting yarn and intertwined it with the moss. And it turned out beautifully, I'm not going to lie. It added such a good dimension to it. Lastly, I just glossed all of the mushrooms to give them some shine and enhance their color. And just like that, she is done. I did lace up the back like a corset, and now I'm ready to go frolic into the forest like a fairy.